ADTNO CB2 here. Today's lingo, blue chip company. What is a blue chip company? A blue chip company is a well-capitalized, well-known, well-established company. It's a leader in its sector of the market. There are 11 sectors of the market that ranges from finance, consumer staples, consumer staples, consumer, um, consumer goods, technology, industry materials. You have 11 total sectors. This is a relatively safe investment, relatively. Let's underline that word, very important to understand, relatively safe, and it's typically a good dividend stock. Now, blue chip companies include, uh, of course, we have GE, we have uh, General Mills, which owns all your cereal, uh, you have, let's, you can even put Kellogg in there, Coca-Cola, okay, Coca-Cola, so on and so forth. But you have a list of well-established, well-funded, well-known blue chip companies. Everyone knows these companies. We might not know all of their brands, but they have a stronghold in the market. They're the leader or they're near the top. Now, Relatively safe. Let's go back to this relatively safe part. Ford and General Motors have been making cars for a very long time. Everything is going electric now. Tesla is the disruptor for that. Tesla will become one day, many probably consider it now, a blue chip company. It is already well known. It is well capitalized, well funded, and well established. So we can go ahead and call it that. But these companies here, Ford and GM, may not be so safe now if they don't make the transition over to electric. This is why you have to pay attention to a blue chip company being relatively safe because a company could lead the market for 50 years. Those 50 years don't stall innovation. People will still innovate. Companies like Tesla will come out. Companies like Apple will come out. Companies like AMD well, these companies will become the next blue chips and either completely get rid of these companies or make these companies adapt and shrink their market size. I'll catch you on the next lesson.